now we'll look at uh, set as user default. Now we'll go over to the mod for this. So here we are at the mod and I'll load uh, a preset file, an effects preset file. Now I'll click this down arrow and we can choose set as user default. Okay, now that comes into play with this settings preferences where it says set plugin default to factory setting or user settings. So by default it's going to be on factory settings. So I'll choose this setting which is A is A, E with, all right, I'll choose set as user default. Now I'll reload this multi-chorus and there it goes. You can see it's changed to the factory default just like all our other effects will do by uh, default. We choose it goes to the factory defaults. So we're on our factory default here. You see how that works. Now if I were to come down here to setting preferences and set plugin default to user settings and then reload this multi-chorus, now you can see it defaults to the setting that we chose as set as user default. Okay so even if we go to another rig, so here's a multi-chorus and we'll choose a multi-chorus again and now the default is that A is AE with setting file. So if you have a setting that you're using all of the time on maybe distortion or uh, parametric EQ or reverb, whatever the case may be, and every time you're making a rig it's always defaulting you know, to the factory defaults and you'd rather it default to a certain setting that you, that you always use all the time, well that's how you would do that. Setting preferences, make sure it's on user settings, and we'll save the setting as, call it run, click save, there's run, load it up, set as user default. All right, now when we go to another rig here, load it up, there it is, run by default will come up instead of the factory default, which usually comes up. So that may be useful as well. So I think that pretty much covers all of the features of the effect presets area of the 11 rack. Very useful feature, can be used for many different things. Very useful if you're downloading rigs that other people have uploaded. Maybe you don't like the rig, but you like a certain effect setting. Well, you can save that setting. Remember, always use save setting as. Name it something appropriate so you can recall it. So we've learned that you can save parameters for every single effect, or even just the amp, mic, speaker breakup, cabinet settings. Learned how to copy settings paste settings, import settings, delete the current settings file, learn how to lock settings, which if you're afraid you're going to forget to use save setting as, I would definitely choose lock setting files. We've learned what the settings preferences do, the root settings folder, the session folder, the set root folder setting, and of course the set plugin default to settings. Choose the factory setting, user setting, and if you choose a user setting, then load up which of your settings you would like to be the default. Choose set as user default. Make sure in your settings preferences that set plugin default to is set to user. So then whenever you load that specific effect, it will default to whatever settings you chose to set as your user default. So if I were to come to this uh, parametric EQ and say, I know I want a multi-chorus on that. I choose multi-chorus. Well, then that slow chorus loads because that's what we chose as our user default. You can, of course, change that to whatever you prefer. And you can do that through all of your different effects as well. Very cool. So turn on your 11 rack, fire up Pro Tools, open up the 11 rack window. And try saving some files using copy settings, uh, save settings, try locking the files, try changing the uh, set plugin defaults to settings. I'd suggest leaving your save plugin settings to on the root folder, but you can try it in the session folder. Always remember where you're saving your settings to. So though the effects presets area on the 11 rec window may look minuscule, the features it provides are very powerful and very time saving as well. So give the effects presets area a try. I think you're going to like it.